I am finally up to season five of Selling Sunset. Absolutely addicted. You guys told me I should watch it and I'm loving it. And now it's got me in the mood to do a shell challenge. I don't know why. I think it's because I've been seeing a lot of these like LA mansions half built on the show and I'm like, I want to finish them. So today I've got this shell that I put into my build crest file, which is just like a save file with lots of different challenges in it. And look, we've done the underground house, the diagonal house, the, I can't remember what this house was, but you know, we've almost finished the whole save file. I'm pretty excited about that. This is the shell that I made and it it's a hot mess. Like, why did I do this to myself? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what these angular walls are. Um, but what I have been watching on Selling Sunset is a lot of like very rectangular homes, in a way, very cold modern homes that really do suit being bachelor pads, in my opinion. So I'm kind of inspired to maybe go that way with this build, like not even turn it into a build that I would personally like. Oops, I just took out that wall. But like something that would sell on Selling Sunset. That's basically the challenge today. So if you've never seen a shell challenge before, basically you've got to keep the shell of the build. Uh, so you can't add exterior walls, but you can add balconies, fences, and obviously a floor plan inside. And you know, I would think that having made the shell myself, that, you know, it's probably going to be easier, but it really isn't. Like, it's still very difficult. Okay, I reckon we should put like a, a pool out here. You know what? Actually, I think this pool needs to be bigger. It would kill me to just not have any yard like this, but you know what? Some people love that. They just wanna put a big old pool out the back and have no lawn to take care of. And that's just, you know, that's some people's vibe. And you know, that's fine. I feel like at bachelor pads, there's a lot of like novelty value. There's lots of like things that people would go, oh, that's cool. Like a sunken lounge or something. You know what? Maybe I should do that here. Actually, probably the easiest way of making a sunken lounge now is just placing a platform, right? Or maybe it'll be like a sunken tub. I know, that looks like Selling Sunset to me. And if you guys don't know what Selling Sunset is, basically it's a show following the life of very glamorous and attractive real estate agents and their drama. It's kind of like the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cross real estate. I really want to do a wall here, but I can't. I don't know what the heck this is going to be. This is such a weird looking house. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's so strange. I feel like there's a lot of rectangular roofs like this and like big palm trees. Ooh, what's going on down here? It's a bit of a glitch. You see that? Is there a basement in here? Just the pool. That's so weird. It could be a tree in here, maybe. Can I also just say, thank gosh, the platforms. The shell challenges, okay? Because without these, like, oh my lord, it was rough. Because you could only use the existing roof tool. <laughs> I think we could maybe do an outdoor area under here. I'm also thinking it could... Okay, so basically, you see how this platform looks a little too short? to be a fence. Like it looks like someone could, you know, jump up on top of that and fall off the edge. But then if I make it thicker, it's gonna look weird as a roof. So what I'm thinking about is maybe I could do like garden hedges here or like a little planter box situation. Um, Cause we can use half walls, I think. I mean, hey, this is my challenge. So I'm gonna say you can use half walls. Yeah, I mean, I think that would be nice. And we could maybe do more of this plant box type of deal. Oh, maybe this could actually be a balcony right here with a plant box around the side. So we would, I guess, draw it in like this and then draw it in again like this up in some grass. I mean, we could even make this challenge that little bit more difficult by making it base game only as well. We haven't done a base game only build for a while. You guys on console will be like, yay! Oh wait, console, you can still get packs. I, for some reason I was thinking like on console, you only have base game. No, the, the thing with console is you can't get the custom content. Thank God you guys can get other packs. 
Oh, that's cute. I don't know if I've ever done this style before where it's like foundation and half walls behind it, but I think that actually looks really good. Maybe we can do more planters here. Let's do a shorter wall, perhaps. Yes, this is very cute. We might need to size this hedge down so it doesn't clip into the walls. Oh, dang it, then that makes them look uneven. Let's see, oh, let's see. Is this gonna clip into the wall? Oh no, we're okay. We are a-okay. Okay, it's starting to take shape and to look a little bit more dynamic and less like a gray box. Now when you use platforms, you should then use different sizes of half walls to do wallpaper on them. Unless you're happy with just the foundation the platform colors. But I personally think it's really nice to be able to like pick your own wallpaper. Also, I have posted another video on the second channel. So if you guys are wanting to see vlogs and also real life house renovations, it's kind of like Sims in real life. Um, you should check it out. I've linked it down below. And today I went and got a pap test or vagina test. I don't know. It's called a different thing in different countries. Whatever you call it in your nation or your language, uh, we call it a pap test here or pap smear. So I went today and I just thought, you know what? I'll tell everyone so then you guys can be reminded to go or you might be able to remind a family member if you don't need to go. Yeah, I just think it's always good to, you know, spread the word and give a little reminder. Okay, have I used anything other than base game already? Like, I bet you I have. Every, I really should have started the game with just base game installed. But now I'm like, it's too far and I can't exit the game now or else it'll ruin my creative vibe. I mean, this, this high hedge is base game, right? Yeah, maybe these stairs. No, they're base game as well, you guys. Oh, killing it. Maybe I'll do mostly base game, but we can use a little bit of other decor just to decorate it a bit. Otherwise it'll look like not as interesting, I think. So that's fair enough. So decor, so paintings and such, we can maybe use a few other packs, but the core, the windows and everything else, you just want to be able to download it and put it in your game if you have base game and there'd be no major issues. Okay, for outside, maybe we can do some featured wood. I feel like early 2000s, the darker wood was really popular and it kind of became a little bit like the polished deep wood tones or orangey wood tones. And then it kind of became more about the rustic wood tones. So maybe we go like a rustic deep color. No, these are from Get Famous. That's okay, we can use the EcoCraft hardwood flooring from Base Game. Beautiful. And this can be like our modern wooden accent. We may need to add more balconies because I feel like this is a little lackluster. What do we think about like black trims around the house? No, I, I really dislike it. Let's just go the huge. And we need to find a more convincing white exterior that looks more like an exterior paint color. This one's got a little bit of a gray tinge to it, but it does look a little bit more like concrete or a render for the outdoors. Of course, I would probably go the Moroccan kit usually or Jungle Adventure. Oh, here we go. Unbent smoothness. Yes, for Phil. Or is that too textured? Is that like the really white wen wenda <laughs> render that we're wanting? Or is it like too, maybe it's like too rustic. Let's put some windows in and then we can see what we think. <gasps> oh, and I just realized with wall height, we can probably go higher. We can change the wall height on a shell challenge, right? Whoa. Yeah, that looks better. I think we should go for the black windows. Wait, what's the difference between these swatches? Oh, one's slightly off black and the other's a true black. Let's go the true black. This is gorgeous. We have a nice tree in here or we could put a water feature in there potentially. And yeah, this is what I was thinking, like really big, bold, black frames around the windows and doors. So it's kind of severe, very bachelor style, clean cut, like a crisp white shirt, you know? Honestly, most bachelor pads I would legit live in. Like, yeah, maybe I would get rid of some of the gimmicks that appear in some bachelor pads, but a lot of them are really beautiful and, and with the right furnishing, you can make them look really warm and cozy. Not to mention there's many very tasteful um, 
warm, homely feeling ones as well. But you know, like the stereotypical bachelor pad is usually not as like warm. Put a door out here. Actually, you know what? We should probably be thinking about our floor plan before we start like going crazy with the windows. <laughs> the floor plan is always really tricky to figure out. I mean, this right here, I mean, what is this? Like, what is, this is gonna have to be a bathroom because I mean, and a bathroom near the entrance is, is a good idea because if you're like busting on your way home, you can just like run in the front door and quickly go. I've been in that position many a time in my life. You need a toilet now. So that's going to be a bathroom. I'm a little upset that the door kind of awkwardly goes into like half a wall. So I'm feeling like we put an interior wall here just to even it out a bit. Honestly, this could be its own little uh, entrance room, mud room. We don't really do mud rooms in Australia, do we? Do any Australians in the comments have a mud room? Oh, that seems kind of awkward though, doesn't it? Okay, I take this back. This is just not ideal. And what happens if we put the front door over here instead? And it's like, what is this? Okay, so now the front door has been moved to the middle. It does look a little better. I'm kind of really not liking these lights though. And I'll admit this little corridor is a little strange. I'll be the first to admit that, but I don't know. We will do something there. The bathroom has a little bit of privacy, which is nice. And what the, what is this gonna be? I mean, like, what is this room? I mean, look, we could turn this little angular bit into a bathroom for a oddly shaped room. I mean, the easiest option would be to turn this into a gym, if I'm quite honest. Actually, that, that's a great idea because then we can put in as many windows as we like. It could be a cool feature of the house. Maybe it's a weird sitting room. Heck, I don't know. We'll sort it out later. That That's gonna be a furnishing problem. But I seriously do apologize in advance because if you've watched a lot of my videos, I always mess up the content I'm li limited to. Like I'll always accidentally use all the content as well. So I'll try my best. Actually, you know what? I think we can turn this into something. Not sure yet, but it's gonna be something. Let's say we were to turn this into a weirdly shaped lounge room. Could we even make it work? Okay, no, it, it has it has to be a gym or an office or a studio. It's just gonna be one of those things, okay? Another thing we need to figure out is how do we actually get upstairs? You know, if we could put stairs on an angle, this would be a good spot for a staircase. A staircase could look quite good on the side here. You know, and then we have a wall that joins up here. Maybe turn this into a nice little powder room. Oh dear, we have a problem. This is not enough room for a landing. Like technically, yes, the Sims can route around it, um, but it just looks bad in my opinion. Like you need to have a bit of space at the top of a staircase. Oh gosh, now I feel like we need to shift this back again. I forget, like, I forget why. I always say I'll never do a shell challenge again, and then I always do them again. It's like I never learn. <laughs> okay, that's actually quite a nicely balanced entry room. And then up here, I mean, I'm thinking this little cutout here is gonna have to be for a, probably a toilet, which means this could be a bedroom with a nice balcony. Okay, I'm getting the feeling that this is starting to come together. And that is a really nice feeling because it can be really hard to get builds started, you know? But I feel there's a certain point where you do get into the flow of the build and you're like, yes, we're getting there. This is gonna work. You know, I'd love to do a nice dramatic drop down here. I just don't think it really works though from the lower level. Like if we look up, uh, actually, uh, I mean, apart from this railing that needs to be deleted, I think that actually does look like it can support itself and it's just not gonna fall down. So I think we should keep it. This means we have to get rid of this and then delete that again and... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I see. Let me just fix this up. Now, although this isn't base game, because it is a decorative feature, we could get away with a spa day light, just as like a little bit of added decor. But you know, if you don't have the chandelier, it's not gonna kill the build. We definitely need to bump this out. The reason for that is so we can have a window above and then we can see the chandelier coming down. But of course we can't change the walls, so. 
All I can do is put a sad little half bowl here. Does this look like it needs to come out of the side a bit, maybe? What does that look like? Does it look like a little mushroom head, or does it kind of look good? I don't know. I kind of like it. kind of like it, but I'm kind of also not sure. Now, I also want to check if we can fit a double bed up here. This is the other issue with shell challenges, because sometimes the scale can look really off, because you don't have control over the size of the rooms. Okay, it looks like we can fit a double bed in here and have a bit of like a study nook or a wardrobe area, and that's going to be okay. Or it could go this way. Actually, that's probably nicer. So then we have maybe a bedroom over this way. This could be a master bedroom. I'm assuming that downstairs will be living area. So let's say that could be a master boudoir. Ooh, but that will need a bathroom. Well, the bedroom's pretty important in any bachelor pad. Like, they'd have to have a really nice view. Maybe a big bathroom on this side. That's a big bathroom. I mean, we could go all out and do like one of these classic headboard things where the bed goes in front of it. And then you have like built-in wardrobes within it, but it does feel a little tight in this space. Oh, there's also the balcony this way. Yeah, I reckon we could have a balcony here, the bed like here, and this is obviously like a big master bedroom space huge ensuite. I mean, this is gorgeous. Like, very luxurious for sure. So if this was going to be all of the master area, then a bedroom doesn't really fit here. You just have like one bedroom, two bedroom. I mean, even if we did fit in a bedroom here, it would have a pretty small bathroom. See, this is when shell challenges are so challenging. You can't change anything. We could downsize a little bit which I know is kind of devastating. Also, this is, a, this is a really big corridor for putting another room here. I reckon it should just be two bedroom and they can have like a guest room here. I mean, it's a bachelor pad, so it doesn't necessarily have heaps of family space. And this could be just like another lounge area. All right, so if that's the upstairs, okay, now we've got to figure out kitchen, dining, lounge room in this hot mess of a floor plan. Good lord. Okay. What if this was a really weird dining room? <laughs> could, this, could this be like cool? Oh god, I, I just dislike this so much. Why am I doing this? It looks good from the outside. It could be the selling feature of the house, you guys. An all glass dining room. Would you buy it? And I mean then this could walk through to a kitchen over here. Hello? Guys, me is this working? I mean, it's a little it's a little strange, but it is unique. But I feel like every time this door is opened, it's gonna like crash into that person's seat. And this could be like a powder room here, kitchen here. I mean, it's a little unusual. But you know, someone might really like it. Look, we can put a little bar here. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, I could have like glass looking into that room as well. It's just like a full blown glass dining room. Okay, I kind of feel like this is the best use of this space. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna find, I don't even know what angle to put this table on. Are there any base game rounded tables? Oh wait, there's this one. Okay, a round table would look really good in here. Like this fits the room. But the problem is, I'm actually not sure about the symbols on this table. I think we have to go this one. Oh, what about this? What happens if there's no door here? I actually didn't think of that. And then we don't have to worry about like the door swinging into any chairs. I'm actually, I, I like to show James my builds, but I'm like too scared to show him this one because <laughs> I feel like he'll be like, what the heck have you done? Oh, of course this column is not gonna sit correctly. Let's see, maybe we can place the door frame in so it sits straight and then we can delete this. No, why did you do that column? Other option is to completely get rid of the wall surrounding the staircase. Quite strange. I mean, this room does look a lot better though. Can I put a fountain under here? Dang it. We could do a little cacti garden under here. This is cute. That, that's kind of cute. There we go. And now it can all be more open plan style. And if we put a floor light in, like one of the pool lights, 
Here we go. Huh? It's suddenly become this indoor feature that some people would like. Look. And you know, once we put some tiles in, actually we can't use that because that's not base game. We could go all white, which I'm not a fan of. And look at that, it's already looking a lot, a lot better. Again, I'm gonna use some decorative lights here. That's from Moschino. You know, give it a bit more of a fun vibe. Okay, I think it's kind of working. I'm not saying it's perfect, but we've come a long way. Got this furniture, it's very black and white. But that's the dining room. This is the interesting kitchen. This really does look like a good lounge area where we could put a fireplace. I'm gonna use a city living fireplace, but of course the base game one will also suffice. We could do double-sided fireplace. Ooh, a dining room would fit here. Oh, and a kitchen could go on the other side. Oh no, maybe we're switching things around. I had this whole situation over here, but this would be a little less unusual. Oh my gosh, you guys, this would be like a normal looking kitchen and dining room. Also, I don't know why there's no floor in there. Then the lounge room could go over here, I suppose. I feel like the door would make more sense here, but it's just kind of odd that it's to the side of this table, you know what I mean? But I mean, I guess there's stranger things and the kitchen would be behind here. Okay, I actually think this, this makes a lot more sense than the weird dining room at the front. Although now that I did that, I feel like a lot of you guys will be really sweet and be like, I liked it, it worked. Well, I suppose this does mean that we could have an extra bedroom back here, which is nice. So it can turn into a three bedroom house. And I mean, this is just going to have to be a beautiful formal sitting room with a chess corner. There we go. You always need a chess corner in the Sims. I don't think anyone has a chess corner in real life. Actually, probably someone watching does. And if you do, that's great. I'd love to come see your chess corner sometime. Whenever you put down rugs in rooms, I swear it just makes everything look a lot better. Like the spaces just suddenly start look like, looking like they make sense. All right, so we did kind of finally figure out the floor plan. Look, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think this has been a really, this has probably been the most difficult shell challenge I've ever done. I don't know why I made it so hard, you guys. I, I'm angry at my past self. <laughs> And this has taken me so long. I think what I'm going to do is offer you guys a second part of this where we furnish it, because this is just kind of placeholder furnishing. And if you guys would like to see me furnish this, would you like me to stick to base game like my original plan was, or would you like me to just have fun with all the packs and potentially CC? Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and see what you guys want but yeah this is a really tough one really really tough i'm shook anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world make sure to check out my new vlog channel and i can't wait to speak to you guys soon bye dag